Hi boys and girls, I hope you're getting on okay. Um, I miss you all so, so much and I know the other teachers do too. School was so quiet without you guys um, at the beginning of this week and the end of last week and we're all now working from home. So um, we're all learning just like you are and I managed to grab some books from our book corner before we had to um, leave school. So I thought I would do some videos of me reading the story books um, and we can upload them just so that you guys get some story time because I know we would have done it most days anyway. So I thought I would start with Elmer, which I know my class love and this is one of my favourite books whenever I was young as well. So I'm reading it for my enjoyment as well. So let's get started. Elmer, and this is by David McKee, that's the author, so the person who wrote the book. There was once a herd of elephants, elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin, elephants like this, that or the other, all different, but all happy and all the same colour. All that except for Elmer. Elmer was different, Elmer was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elmer was not elephant colour. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. One night, Elmer couldn't sleep for thinking, and the thing that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they all laugh at me. In the morning before the others were really awake, Elmer slipped quietly away, unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elmer. Each time, Elmer smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush, a large bush covered with berries, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and he shook it and shook it so that all of the berries fell onto the ground. What do you guys think he's going to do? Hmm. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmer lay down and rolled over and over and over, this way and that way, back and forward. Then he picked up bunches of berries and he rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. After that, Elmer set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, good morning, elephant. And each time, Elmer smiled and said, good morning, pleased that he wasn't recognized. When Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way into the middle of the herd. I think this one's Elmer, but I'm not really sure. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong but what? He looked around, same old jungle, same old bright sky, same old rain cloud that came over from time to time, and lastly, same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at all the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted up his trunk and at the top of his voice, he shouted, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell all ways in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said. And then they saw Elmer, helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said, it must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never ever laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst, and when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephant still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant, you've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves, and Elmer will dec decorate himself elephant colour. 
That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know that it must be Elmer. And have a look. Which one's your favourite elephant? I think I like this one. But I like them all, but this one I think is my favourite. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think I might have another Elmer book in there somewhere so I thought I would just video myself reading some stories um because I love reading stories and I thought it would be nice for you guys to listen to so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you guys are okay staying safe staying entertained um I hope mums and dads and grown-ups are okay as well and we'll speak soon bye